What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick. And you can check out my YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket, all one word, where you, can, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. We do trailer reactions, we do TV and movie reviews, and every single week we do a weekly comic book review where we grab them on Wednesday at the shop, read them, bag and board them, take pictures for the Instagram in the light box, then... We sit down with you guys and we review them. And then every Tuesday on Manny Reads Comics YouTube channel, Manny Reads Comics, there is a show entitled The Weekly Roundup, where me, him, and our friend Carlos talk about our top three books and a bunch of other stuff. So, with that being said, we're going to get right into the goodness. We have a bunch of books. We start Indies, Marvel, DC, and we start with Dark Horse, Issue 1, Masca Raid. This is a Kevin Smith written book. Uh, also out of the sub uh, publisher, I guess. Secret Stash Press. Uh, really cool. Didn't realize this was coming out. Didn't realize who was in charge, of, who was a part of this uh, until, you know, right before uh, Wednesday. So I picked it up. I was not disappointed. Really good artwork, uh, really, really, really fun concept. Basically, there's you know social media and movie stars and and this one guy that got fired from a network for whatever he did, and oh no, because he got caught having an affair with a with a newscaster whose husband ran the network, blacklisted. So, um, yeah. It was, it's a really good concept because there's this woman who I guess is a social media influencer that was somehow screwed over and and brutally like attacked and now she's masquerading as other people and uh, torturing people. It's really like a cool grotesque, grotesque in the background kind of thing. Really interested. I'm excited to see where the series is going to go. Uh, we rank them one out of ten. I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. Uh, we're gonna hop over to image with issue. Oh god, what is this now? Where is the issue number? Four. Issue four. Dual power bomb is the variant cover. Uh, I believe that was a variant cover also for Masquerade. Um, this is the B cover for Dual Power Bomb. Uh, this series just gets better and better. Uh, the background information, the f the flashbacks, the build up on all the different sides, um, introducing the uncle with a tag team, and and the relationships between the father and the daughter, even though they, the daughter does not know it's her father as her tag partner. Uh, that fight was really cool. Uh, seeing you know all that stuff be done, the art being really interesting and the stakes and the fights everything about this book is good i'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten highly recommend then we move on to marvel bunch of marvel stuff so we got the ratio variant for uh predator issue two uh this issue is propelled issue one even further i enjoyed it uh, the emotional strain of hopefully the ship comes back on then going there her Barely not going to be able to survive getting there or getting back, but odds and things happen, and now there's a predator hunting her inside this giant space, uh, like planetary gas station. Really cool. Really excited for the next issue. This is going to be an easy eight. Easy eight. Um, issue nine, variant cover of the Amazing Spider-Man. Incredible cover. Really good issue. Um really really good issue so i'm gonna say art here was awesome finally we get the continuation of that storyline that happened in uh hellfire gala i really liked how they sped everything up in the beginning did everything i thought the fight scenes are cool i thought the art was really cool i really liked the ending even though we really don't have any idea why still mary jane's acting like that but I really enjoyed this book as a whole. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. 
Um, issue one of Marvel's Midnight Suns. This is A cover, David Nakayama, DNA. Um, really cool idea, really cool execution of this concept. Um, it could have gone either way, it could have gone any way. I could, it could have been really bad. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I had an amazing time with this. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the art. I like this, the Strange Academy references throughout. Um, I like how this protagonist is like some kind of demon thing that's connected to a character from Strange Academy and it's leading to that involvement and kind of brings this whole thing and then Doom's involved and everyone's coming after her. All the magic users are coming after them and Nico from Runaways does not have her staff so what is she gonna do really enjoyed it I thought it was awesome um way more than I expected to eight eight out of ten um then we got issue three of Daredevil regular cover and ratio variant ratio variants really clean um but this is Daredevil still has not left New York City to join the fist um, we're still dealing with the hand stuff, setting up, trying to make his connections before he leaves. Um, trying to recruit people, not really working. Um, and the whole stuff with Luke Cage and Luke Cage being, nope, I gotta be the mayor. Going and doing all the mayor stuff. Um, which was really cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. I really enjoyed all the mayor stuff with Luke Cage and him taking on those people that were giving Fisk a hard time and basically being told that they own him and he's like, no. And then at the re revelation at the end that they are now working with the hand uh, and... Uh, I always forget her name, but the lady that had trained Electro is there, and really interesting concepts here, and the Punisher's coming after him, and really pumped about it. I really enjoyed this issue, and I'm enjoying this series or chip. Uh, I'm gonna say seven. Seven. Seven out of ten. Uh, moving on to DC, we got two books. We got issue one of Batman vs. Robin with the car side cover of Zatanna. I like the concept of the, everything going on with the magic and the ending with the devil Naziza uh, and Robin's grandmother working together. Uh, it's kind of weird because when we ended the Robin series, it didn't seem like he was going to get possessed and now he's kind of getting possessed and using other kids that are possessed to fight Batman for no really reason. There's also no real explanation of why Alfred's alive. Um, I liked how they all the magic users are kind of screwed right now and no one's really functional. So that was cool. Um, and yeah, I really like Dan, what is this, Dan Moore. Oh, it's not Dan Moore. So it's just Mark Wade. And I love Mark Wade. I love this idea. I love the concept. I think the execution of the whole Robin stuff is kind of weird. I would have much rather it go straight out of the Robin series and then we watch him get possessed as the series takes, uh, like, goes on instead of starting out with this because it's a little choppy and weird. It doesn't really fit the way it should. But it's not bad. I'm going to give it a. six maybe a six and a half and then finally we have issue 10 card side cover for batgirls awesome cover awesome book awesome artwork really cool really fun i enjoyed this the whole killer moth stuff the fight scene was cool um the stuff with batgirl meeting with uh the commissioner was really cool uh the nightwing stuff really enjoyed all this i'm really 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 liking this series i think this artwork recently whoever the new interior artist is conrad incredible best ever amazing i love it i'll keep it i need it seven and a half maybe eight seven and a half awesome 
And that are my books for the week. Um, tune in to Manny Reads Comics channel on YouTube this upcoming Tuesday for my top three of these picks. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I got tons more on the channel, tons more coming your way. You can check me out over at The Vinyl Casket, all one word, on YouTube. Where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. And remember to do me a massive favor and stay lame.